Welcome on this beautiful dark Sunday here in Netherlands. Outside it's raining and it's storming and it's... Did you hear that? Amazing. So welcome to channel 48. My name is Buck Darlington. Well, today I'm gonna show you my iPad 1. Yeah, hey, don't start with me. iPad Uno. This is the iPad 1 and this is a device that is kinda outdated. It runs uh, iOS 5.11. This is it. Yeah, you can see it. You see that? It's the old model. It has 32 gigabytes built in memory. So I can, I mean, like not memory, uh, hard drive. So I have a, we, we have 32 gigabytes of space. So that is kind of good for old device like this. Although this thing comes without a camera, so um, don't expect anything uh, with video that you're gonna do on this. Because most apps also don't really work anymore. Although I did find some, I was really surprised because I was watching some reviews from two years ago. And in fact, yeah, what these guys were showing was an iPad that was totally deprecated and in fact, YouTube app not working, etc. But hey, I have a working YouTube app, really. From the, yeah, from the App Store official. So, I discovered some, some ways to get around and I'm even gonna install my old version of uh, GarageBand onto this thing. So, in fact, what we're gonna do, this this device at this moment is jailbroken because I, I tried to, to do some things with it and then, in fact, it failed. I got the, uh, how you call that again? Um, a substrate error and that means uh, whenever it's gonna respring, you won't have no touch screen anymore and the screen will be kind of black so the only way how i can start it up is you know start up uh with in, in a substrate uh, uh uh way okay if you don't know what's that i'm gonna talk about that in another video so in this video uh, we're gonna effect restore the ipad one with all its apps already on it so I already made a backup to my iTunes on my Mac so in fact what we're gonna do we're gonna restore the device it's jailbroken at this moment so you're gonna learn how to uh, deal with the jailbroken device because you cannot just hit restore and then you know you're gonna end up in an Apple that will be stuck and you will have a little bricked uh, iPad tablet up there and won't kind of uh, be able to uh, yeah to install or restore the files you need to really restore it back uh, with iTunes with uh, with the official firmware after that we're gonna uh, jump to my Windows computer and then we're gonna jailbreak this device this iPad one we're gonna jailbreak it with red snow and why with red snow and why not with uh, these other tools this one click things well because Red Snow in the first place is old school. You will have to put the device into a DFU mode and then go from there. It's a beautiful process. You see what is going on and you end up with a device that is way, um, how can I say it? Way, way more your own. Cause in fact, yeah. She ne sait pas qu'est-ce passé when it's all happening, you know. I, I like to see the process. And with Red Snow, you can see the process. So you're gonna learn how to put the device into a DFU mode, because we cannot hit just restore, as I, as I just said. So we're gonna put it in a DFU mode, connect it to the computer, the Windows computer, jailbreak it with Red Snow. And when we're, jail, jail, when we're jailbroken, then uh, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna transform this device into a modern device. We're gonna give it uh, uh, some latest iOS look and feels. So you will also feel like, hey, wow, this is a good device, it looks nice. 
and um, yeah all these procedures you're gonna see in this video so um, yeah let's get ready and let me show you how you can make the iPad one in fact a beautiful device again and in fact there's nothing wrong with this device only thing it has no cam and I love the fact that it has no cam this is one of my only devices I, I really can sit in front without feeling spied on you know sure that's just how it is so let's get started there we are there we are my peeps so what you need you need a good cable mm -hmm. your iPad of course iTunes come on lock in you piece of crap okay so there we are and um, yeah let's just this thing is very annoying. It's, it's opening pictures. This thing has no camera. Why you open pictures? It's, it's like these some apps are getting stupid with the years. It's like old people at a certain moment. They start talking all sorts of crap, you know, and then they don't know what they said anymore. And they, 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 they cannot remember. It, it's happening. Really, I, I see it happening for real in, in software world. It's like these apps are kind of getting stupid um <laughs> not really of course so there we are what should we do now you must have the ipsw file you must have it on your on your on your on your mac or on the device that you're going to use for the restoring so i already have it okay so here you can see the ipad is connected and i can say here restore ipad but i will not be able to restore from here this will not work so what we're gonna do, yeah, make sure you already made a backup, everything is backed up. Oh yeah, by the way, look at the YouTube app, what I was telling you about. I have a good working YouTube app for my iPad one. Everything works, it works fantastic. So I don't know who's saying that because uh, officially when you're gonna um, uh, install 5.11, then you get a, a YouTube app that is saying, yo, uh, outdated, could not, you know? So yeah, but I have good working YouTube app without jailbreak this is none of these apps are jailbroken i mean like cracked i don't do that you know okay so uh what we're gonna do now is uh oh yeah we need to get this device ready to be flashed okay how, how to do that well you're gonna press power off you're just gonna turn it off that's what you're gonna do wait for it to turn off Yeah, and then very important, take a sip of your coffee. <clears throat> Make sure that it tasted good. Then you're gonna press the home button after you took a sip of your coffee, and then you press the power on, and then you keep holding the home button, and then very important, take another sip of your coffee. And make sure that the glass is empty before you're gonna get the iTunes logo. And now you see the iTunes logo. You see that? So now this phone, or <laughs> this phone, this uh, iPad is ready to be to be fixed. Okay, let me put it here for you. Can you see that? But here in uh, in my iP in my in my uh, in my Mac. I'm going to select, I'm going to hold the ALT on my keyboard, okay, and then I'm going to select Restore iPad. If you're on a Windows computer, it should be, I think, the Shift, I'm not sure. And just wait, and now you can scroll for the file. Just go to the file, the IPSW, the 5.11, select it, and say Restore. So now here you're gonna see a thin line that will you know unpack the software and then when it's unpacked it's gonna contact the apple ipad and then the apple ipad will be restored uh, to a new fresh uh, installation of um of uh, how you call it um, yeah of ios 5.11 and then of course my friends after that uh, we're gonna get our Windows computer ready here at the side. 
because that one has the software uh, to uh, to root this device to jailbreak it and uh, the coolest thing of uh, of this process uh, will be that it will go right and I found out that iTunes and this Mac that you see here at the back whenever I want to in fact, jailbreak this iPad. I'm getting an error. It's telling me exploit could not be bloody bloody blah. So I have the idea that uh, iTunes is not. Uh, it's yeah. I, I think the the, the older ver the the newer versions of 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 Mac. I'm not sure because it's been a while that I did not jailbreak or do anything, you know. And uh, in fact, I have the idea that the new versions of Mac OS 10 they don't support jailbreaking anymore not even on old iPads that's what I found out because every time I, every time I get a, I get an error could not be exploit could not be bloody bloody blah and I look really stupid when that is happening to me so I find that uh, yeah I don't know why that is so that's why it's always good to have more than one uh, a computer to work on that's my Linux computer you see that my Linux so yeah in fact these these machines they are all uh, they are all very uh, very reliable very good and here you can see the installation is gonna start and soon you're gonna see a line here you see that and we just let this go and whenever this is done then I'm gonna get back to you, otherwise this video is gonna get way too long. And here the installing is being performed. Well, in fact, this, this is the starting up. And there we are already. Cheap. And I love this sound, eh? I miss this sound. It's better than the sound that we hear now. Boom, boom, boom. You know? So that is, uh, yeah, something that is nice if you're you know on a device like this you're going back into into the time and thanks to thanks to in fact the great way of getting this device to run again here we can connect to the wi-fi i'm not going to do that yet continue and then uh, restore from itunes backup okay so that's what I'm going to do now and it's connecting to iTunes because I want to restore it first back here it was the iPad of Mr. Mr. Stripe so it's gonna now restore all the apps that uh, I had on here because in fact yeah I would love to keep these apps you know these apps are beautiful and at this moment, uh, it's it's not easy to to find apps. Eh? And uh, if you have an iTunes account for many years, just like me already, then you have several apps uh, in your uh, how you call it uh, in your library. So if you're gonna log on uh, to the App Store with your uh, with your Apple iPad, then in fact, uh, what's gonna happen? You're gonna see all the apps that you had uh, before that you once downloaded and um let me see what's gonna happen and in fact i had, i don't have any of my apps back so it's busy with synchronizing it's at step three or four I think it's gonna reboot one more time you see that here in iTunes you can see that it's busy here you see that it's a blue line and it's saying uh, apps uh, synchronizing and getting ready to whatever so yeah the apps will all be installed after another reboot so we must wait we are not ready yet and don't be disappointed that you don't see any app so there you go, it's copying, tune in radio, now it's starting to install, you see that? 
all these things will be installed including YouTube there it is you see that so that means uh, you can still use this iPad I don't know why um, I really don't understand why iOS 5.11 is coming with a outdated YouTube app that is only redirecting to a website to tell you that you can use uh, Safari mobile YouTube but in fact it's not telling you um, that that you can get the old version of YouTube or maybe you guys must just try because in fact what I did I, I, I simply went into the in, in, into my account and the apps that I previewed uh, how you say that previously uh, so, uh, what is it that? Um, 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 you know what I mean the apps that I had before um, I saw them all in there complete listings pages full with apps and then I just clicked on some and some were not possible to be installed but many were you know many were such as sound voice record pro fantastic fantastic app um, here uh, I file o file pro here a phone a real uh, a real VoIP phone this is uh, the best phone that you can get on any any mobile device if it comes up to VoIP and I have an inbound number so I'm using this and I can receive calls on this iPad this iPad is also a phone without a sim card this is not using any sim card okay I can receive calls from any landline and any mobile phone on this soiper here you see it has two missed calls and that was me testing uh, how it uh, functioned and it it works just fine there's no Wi-Fi at this moment but this is the phone it's a great phone really it's a fantastic phone it works really good and uh, only thing you need is of course a VoIP account I should make a video uh, about that how you can still use uh, VoIP because sometimes you just don't want to you know you just want to use a device as a phone and this thing has no SIM card slot so you know how to use your VoIP account with the inbound number and still receive calls well install Soiper that, that's just it it's just that simple so I'm gonna let all these apps install you can see there are a lot and they will all be installed and then we're gonna root this device so until then okay though look at that all the apps are installed ain't it beautiful nice eh? even my Wi-Fi is connected okay so now we're gonna jailbreak this device so what we're gonna do I'm gonna get out the cable and then we're gonna go to my Windows device here Hear that cheap and this might look not so good but we're just gonna do it this way I see a lot of light coming from there like this oh this is better eh? okay so we just have no interference of that of that light so Okay, so now you have a Windows computer and you also have this software called Red Snow. And I'm gonna show it to you. It's version 0912B1. Okay, 0912B1. Remember that. So, how to start up the procedure? This window that you see is red snow it's saying jailbreak extras etc what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the iPad we turn it off it's connected eh? it's connected to the Windows computer that's gonna do and perform the jailbreak it's off okay so now you're gonna you must kind of be quick you press power on and then you press the home you press home and power together now and 
one, two, and then you let go of the power, but you keep holding the home. And that means that now we should be in a DFU mode. On here, on the computer, you're also gonna see that it's saying here, iPad connected in DFU mode. You probably cannot read it, but that's all good. So now we're gonna hit jailbreak. So it's identifying the iPad. Here's the iPad. Can you see it? Yes, I think you can. And those that are watching this on their uh, on their Pux Glass TV should now see a 3D effect because of the 45 degree angle that I'm filming. You should really have a 3D effect when watching this video on a one face hologram player or what do you call it? Um, What's it called again? Ghost, Spirit Ghost, what's it called? Pepper's Ghost. And up here we're gonna see uh, it stopped with you know the procedure. The iPad is now giving a little bit of backlight at the back, but it's still uh, in a DFU mode. And now we're gonna just hit next. Install CDR here was selected, so we're just gonna hit next. Okay. And here you can see that uh, the jailbreak is being performed and soon you're gonna see some some terminal screen that will pop up and in fact will show what's crack lacking and we're gonna end up with a very nice device this device will look really beautiful with the new icons and with the new dock and it's gonna Reboot, there we go. Here we have the terminal screen. And then it's gonna go to the Pineapple boot logo. And up there it will, at a certain moment, here it's saying, uh, okay, this is all good. If there is an error, it would stop somewhere here. And then the only thing you can do is try to put it back into a DFU mode and try it again and in some, time, some ways, uh, sometimes if the device was already jailbroken you cannot re-jailbreak it to fix the jailbreak so if you get an error uh, uh, because of some app that you installed from Cydia and it, it failed you know and you know it resprings the device and then suddenly your touch screen is not working anymore then you must start it up in a substray Away, and that means uh, you're gonna hold the power because you cannot power it off touch screen is not working so you're gonna hold power and home until you know the device turns off you hold it for 10 seconds you hold them both for 10 seconds and then uh, the moment you see the Apple booting up again you're gonna hold up the volume that means up, eh? you're gonna hold it up keep holding it until you get into the lock screen and then you're gonna see that everything will work again and you will have touch screen again and then you can go ahead back into Cydia to fix the problem but most of the times you cannot fix the problem at least I could not fix it I deleted uh, some app that I installed that caused the problem but it was not fixed my Cydia was not fixed if I booted back then it would get boot back into uh, a, a black screen uh, or you say that safe substrate mode i don't know how you call it so it happened uh, very often to me also on iphone 3gs and on iphone 3g and yeah in fact the only way how i could fix it back was to do a complete total restore of uh, of the device and i learned uh, thanks to that as well which apps uh, or which uh, packages I should in fact get from Cydia and that is also important you cannot just download things that install sometimes it installs fine but it just don't run you know it messes up the the complete installation and then you you have a device that is not uh, not functional anymore although 
if you get this uh, the substrate error or whatever it's called and it starts up in, in some safe mode, some safe substrate mode whenever you turn it on uh, it can that also can be used as a sort of protection eh, of the device that you simulate the device to be broken that is not working it's bricked you know touchscreen broken yeah not working anymore your touchscreen you need new LCD <laughs> so uh, yeah or uh, you can stop people from entering the device you know because the touchscreen won't work and if they don't know how to start it up in a substrate way then yeah they won't be able to get in up here uh, they are asking me what I am if I'm a hacker or a developer or a user well I would just select user if I was you okay and then hit okay don't overdo things don't don't yeah don't select developer because you might get in a problem and then you must <laughs> if you don't understand the problem you will have to reinstall everything again you go to changes here and it's gonna download packages and soon we will be able to do a complete upgrade or a essential upgrade so you know you can choose out of full upgrade or essential upgrade and sometimes most of the times I just choose for an essential upgrade okay upgrade essentials but you can also do a full upgrade so let's just do a full upgrade okay and let's just get all these packages in so we'll have a device that will not look for certain tools and packages to get things going but in fact I'm not uh, installing uh, or jailbreaking this device to get extra apps because I, I, I really would not know what kind of app I you know think is kind of useful I also don't trust uh, cracked apps because yeah you don't know in what way they were compromised although I think that these guys from uh, Cydia, Saurik etc I, I think they are to be trusted you know they've been uh, leading the community for so many years and thanks to them we can still you know get these old devices uh, uh, up and running and, and give them fantastic looks well not up and running only but also make them more more functional okay and really it's not about the apps uh, for me it's about the look and feels I want to give this device an upgraded look and feel so every user will feel good when sitting behind the device it should also not get slow uh, I did take a look into um, into Gradoor. I installed it two times just to make sure and I found out that um, after I installed Gradoor, the device uh, effect was totally not responsive anymore and it felt it felt not good it felt as if I don't I did not trust my device anymore so yeah that is what I must admit and also my old file pro could not uh, copy uh, or open a file in in uh, in voice record pro that while when it was not jailbroken I could do that so I found differences uh, in 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 behavior after installing Gradoor. so in fact I, I don't want to go there if I'm gonna team this thing I want to team it myself so I know what packages I install so we're going to go to search and the first thing that we're going to install is iOS don't don't play smart and go for 11 it won't work just go for iOS 7 uh, 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 iPad just just you know iPad team iOS 7 iPad team okay so we're gonna install it and there we go It will uh, it will do a, a restart after this it will say restart the device 
and it's wise to to just go ahead and and restart it okay in uh, in other cases when a restart would mean that the jailbreak would not work you know just like in the 3g uh, for instance then i will not restart i just hit the home and i don't restart and in fact the team will be there but with the ipad it's not working so now we're gonna boot up and in fact we should not get a, a black screen and a non-working touch because at this point uh, everything should still be good and after this we're gonna go into Cydia again and then we're gonna fix the dock and let's just wait for it to boot it should give us the little chicken The apple is kind of small, eh? it, should, it should not be a little bit bigger, you see, whenever you see your, your picture then you don't have to worry, unless your name is, of course, I don't have to say, eh? Adam Curry, so, um, hello, hello, oh, did you see that, look at that, <laughs> nice, eh? we, we didn't even apply the team and the team is already applied, we have brand new icons, this device already looks very updated. Now we're gonna fix the dock. The dock is, is, is nice if we can fix it, you know, that we have this square dock. That it looks just like my iPad 2. And we're gonna go to search. And there are several docks that you can, you know, so that you can install. But I, I would not go for any other than copy dock copy dock you see that here it is one word copy dock and here you can see it so let's install it we confirm and it installed copy doc. Copy doc, copy doc, copy doc, copy doc, copy doc, copy doc. So if we get the black screen, then it's over. Huh? That would hurt me. Okay, it worked. It worked, Ta -da. and there we have our dock installed. You see that? I'm not sure if you can see it. It's not iOS 11 dock, guys. This is Square Dock, old-fashioned dock. <laughs> so um, yeah, and yeah, now we can we can go for uh, a lock screen, and there should be one. I think it's called colorful. I can't remember. Let me see lock screen let me just type lock screen lock um, lock screen no i was seven oops os seven I think it was animated lock screen. That that I think that's that that's the name of it. But I'm not sure. No, this animated lock screen is not for iPad. This is only for phones. No, I don't want that. Uh, iOS 7 lock screen. Um yeah, which one shall we take? This is the red team and this is the lock screen iPad team. Let me see what it is. Okay, let's install it and see if it works. And then you should be done, eh? you must not go and play anymore. 
Whenever you got these looks and feels all working good, then you must stop with CDL. You should not go ahead and, and try more themes and so. If you don't know what you want, then first find out what you want and how you want it to look because it will, it will get bricked. It will get bricked at a certain moment. Let me see if we already have the lock screen, if it's already enabled. Not yet. In fact, there's nothing wrong with this lock screen, but I just wanted to, to have a more updated lock screen. Up here at the bottom, you're going to see Winterboard in settings, select themes and lock screen. There we can go. Lock screen. We select it and then we say respring. And now we must hope that everything goes good. Always special moment because one little lock screen can mess up the whole thing. There it is, lock screen is fixed. But now I see, I see two times here. What is this? I see two times. <laughs> what should I do? Um, can I disable? Let me see. Maybe I can. Um, Code slot, automatic slot, annoyed. And uh, maybe we can turn off. Rotatie for handling, alert, alert. In fact, what I'm looking for is how not to show the time in the lock screen. How do I achter van foto lees? Algemeen geluiden netwerk. Code slot uit. Datum en tijd. Yeah, I don't know. I love the lock screen, but on the other hand, I also don't like it. So I'm gonna remove it for now. Now we should have our old lock screen back. Okay. And I'm gonna go one more time in CDA. And we're gonna try the red lock screen just to see iOS 7 lock lock screen iPad team iPad red team let's install this one So this is for teaming, really beautiful eh, to have CDR, really all credits to the people there, you know, I think we must keep this alive guys, and if you can still find the iPad one, cheap, buy it, you know, follow, follow these procedures that I'm showing you here, and keep this alive, because if we're not going to keep it alive, one day it's going to be gone, just like Cyanogen mod. And then CDR is gone, and there's no more CDR. Okay, we go for the red team, and we say respring, and we hope that nothing goes wrong. Mm -hmm. 
There we are. Ah, there we go. But also with with the time in here. So this looks like crap to me. You see? I, I, I don't think it looks it's not it's not the upgrade. It looks it looks terrible. It looks terrible. And I don't know how I can turn that off. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to installed and um, I'm just gonna remove these uh, lock screens. I don't like them. Provider. I think that is also something that you should do eh? if you're not gonna use something that you installed to delete it again. Because it looks, it looks terrible. Then I love the old lock screen 1000 times more than what I just saw this ugly thing with two times, two times the time. That is too much. Two times time. No, 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 no not installer of new. What are you doing? Provider. So we're deleting this and now we're just gonna look we're just gonna type lock screen and see what we can find because the lock screen must still be a little bit updated eh? then this thing is perfect the look and feels are already nice there is an iOS 9 theme in here but I didn't get it to work so don't go try it it's gonna it's, it's gonna break your device um, iOS lock screen. Hey, okay, why is it not showing anything? Let's see what it will find. iOS lock. Okay. Now maybe I should really type lock screen. Go. I also use this device uh, for recording live music that we play with a band. It sounds amazing. Lock screen. I was LF style lock screen media player and passcode view. Huh. I'm scared to install this thing. You see, this is not, not compatible with your device. I love that. That they are giving me this information. iOS 8 lock screens. Could not. You see that? So, that is nice. iOS 7 lock, lock screen forecast. No, we cannot. iOS 7 look lock screen, a nice iOS 7 flat design look for your iPad lock screen, see the screenshots, screenshots, let's see the screenshots guys, oh that looks nice, I want, this looks love. oh but wait a minute, it's gonna show the time again, huh? Okay, let's let's just try it. Uh, let's just see what it's gonna do. If this is what we need, or if we're gonna get some some crazy error. Go back to CDO. We go back home. We go to settings. We go to Winterboard and we go to select uh, Teams. I was seven look and then we say Respring. Respring. It never changed the sound. Huh? 
No, you should say bloom. You still say chicken. Oh gosh, what is this? Uh, how do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this thing? This black thing here? Although, I, I like it. It's not bad, in fact. I'm gonna keep it. I love it. It's lovely. So let's restart the device and see if everything is good. Restart A. Oh no no, this thing don't know what is restart of course. Oh look at that, turn off. Oh sexy. <laughs> sexy mama. This is sexy mama. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love the device already peeps. I love it even more now. Now these devices, I was nine device. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. It's so lovely, lovely day. It's so lovely, lovely day. It's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely. Lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely and I know that I love it true. It's so lovely and I love it so. It's so lovely and I love it so. It's so lovely, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely and I think I love it true. It's so lovely, so lovely too. It's so. What are these things? Not what I, 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 I was looking for. What is this? No! I was looking for wallpaper. It's so lovely to love it so. It's so lovely to love it so. It's so lovely, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely, it's so lovely. Ooh, it's so lovely, and you know I love it so. It's so lovely, so I love it so. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, this is the. It kind of corresponds with. Uh, I think this is nice. I like. We download it. And it will be downloaded to your picture folder. You see that save to picture. Wow. Amazing. Oh, look at that butterfly. Lovely. Look at these, these pictures, huh, peeps? It's so lovely to... Who are these guys? Why, why they put picture of guy? back there because this is crazy I'm only looking at pictures I don't want to see wow incredible so many wallpapers but I don't see iOS 11 wallpapers man this is ah wait I see even more beautiful look at this I like this this is beautiful I don't know I don't need anything more Look at that. Oh, look at these clouds. Okay, we have enough wallpapers now because uh, this is not a wallpaper show, of course. This is the how do I make my iPad beautiful show. This is the how do I make my iPad beautiful. Beauty, 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 beautiful. Look at that. This is uh, the blue. Does it make me so happy? Yeah, this guy also not make me happy. Ah, this makes me happy. 
this makes me happy and we can choose for both so that means if we go to the lock screen if you if somebody knows how i can remove this ridiculous black thing here yeah you must let me know because it looks very ugly oh 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 this is the whole lelijk man it is toch niet mooi this is afschuwelijk so i don't want to see the clock there i will find out and if not then i will be terribly sorry maybe i can somewhere turn off the clock but hey that is just a cosmetic uh, that is just cosmetic right this is it man look at the device <laughs> tell me an ipad one that looks more beautiful than this one tell me tell me look at the duck and i love the right red icon more than the white one i'm gonna tell you now i'm gonna tell you straight from my heart i love the red more than the white the white looks like it didn't get no sun cold music you know this is warm it's you know red is the color of love music should be represented with red not with white what do you think peeps right so um yeah now we are uh, totally in love again with this ipad uh, i think this is beautiful device i think this is what you want uh, to do with your uh, with your ipad one so it looks beautiful i would not go for the gray door well not because they are not good but because the device is nothing as what it is at this moment right now as you can see uh, this thing is a fantastic recorder uh, if you go to the studio and you have a band just like me and you set up this thing uh, somewhere in the corner you know uh, not of course beside the speaker but somewhere that it's you know getting the stereo music in a good way then you can make fantastic recordings here yeah? yeah you can say high quality recording i want to create high quality recording you see that it works so you can make beautiful recording you now have a home studio you can also do multi-track recording you see that we have multi-track recorder here so um is the ipad one still usable well all these guys that made the review here on youtube i said that it was not usable anymore um yeah these were not you know these are not they don't know these are you know these are, are how can you say these are guys that need latest ipad you know these are not guys that are really smart also Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not fun when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home Every time she goes away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not fun when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home Every time she goes away Wonder this time when she's gone and so forth and so forth you see that's how it works you know you, you, you but you need a headphone eh? ain't no sunshine when she's gone it's not fun when she's away ain't no sunshine when she's gone and this house just ain't no home every time she goes away so never tell me that the ipad one is not good okay or that you cannot use it in 217 anymore this is a very expensive device it was not created with 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 rubbish this is not a 99 dollar uh, android device okay this is a real device so all you guys 
that think that this device is outdated you know um yeah you were mistaken as you can see this is a beautiful updated look and feels uh, all original apps not cracked not hacked just jailbroken for the look and feels nothing else nothing more or less this was my video about the ipad one i hope that in 2018 many will use this device again well that was a very long video eh? <laughs> but look what we ended up with a lovely device one that you will not find anymore in the store to buy you know you will not find the ipad one anymore so if you um, um, um can can get an ipad one i would say go ahead get it because it will be your your reliable little friend that will help you if you are a singer just like me or maybe if you are doing other things this thing is good device so let nobody tell you lies that your ipad is not good but in fact it's good that they, they made these videos because then then we you know the crackers and the hackers and the users and the guys that you know uh, understand the value of this device can get it completely cheap and free so yeah i hope you're gonna enjoy your ipad one good luck with it i think this is the most beautiful ipad one in the world e why because it's mine so i want to thank you for watching once again peeps uh good luck with your ipad one make it beautiful and enjoy it and much love and bye bye and be nice and god bless you